Whew, I am feeling fatter than usual today. And eating that pizza last night probably didn't help. All right, guys, got a new knife, a whole new knife. And it's brought to you by Whole Foods. <laughs> I don't know. I should show that on camera. <laughs> My address. <laughs> Always forget to do that. <laughs> so, thought we'd make a nice little unboxing and first impressions and all that good stuff. Because I like capturing those moments. So, it's just fun for me. I get to come back and watch it again and again and reminisce. <laughs> Seeing something neat for the first time in my hands. So, you know what? <laughs> Need some duct tape. There. <laughs> I don't have that technology to blur stuff, so pretend you didn't see my address. Okay. Back over there. Wow. That's a lot of packing. They can just find a, a narrower box. Whatever. Okay. So get to that. But this is what we came for. Yeah. Yeah, we got a new box for you to play in. Enjoy. There we go, guys. <clears throat> My dad has been wanting one of these for years and years. And I've been wanting one too, but they were just too damn expensive. So I saved up a couple months worth of money and I got one. An actual K-Bar knife. And it's not a cheap Chinese copy or nothing. This is a genuine uh, Model 1217, I think. Yeah, I did my research, guys. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so you got this uh, watermark. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But anyway, so you know it's a genuine one. Yeah. Warning, cancer reproductive harm. Yeah, well, it's a knife. <laughs> of course it could do that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, really just want to dive in and kind of rush in here because I really want to see this thing up close. Now this is a modern variant on the model, or modern model. <clears throat> I got the straight one without the serrated edge. It's got a good thick blade, look at that. That's a good thick spine there. That's more knife thick. I don't know where to pack them. They're they're packed away somewhere. So yeah, I got medium sized hands, <coughs> so that gives you a reference point. So now this is kind of a camping classic, just like the futon. There, the flashlight. A lot of people have brought these camping with them. And use them for bushcraft or amateur bushcraft. <laughs> so, hell yeah. And a leather sheet. Wow. That ain't cheap. That is actually, man, that feels nice. Well, that's staying with storage because I got another sheet for it. Well, yeah, made in Mexico. See how that works. Ooh. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent. You know, I've been looking at these. I thought these were like kind of a cheapo way to go with, you know, knife sheaves and stuff. But uh, I kind of changed my mind. 
Yeah, that kind of changed my mind because if you think about it, there's really no other good ideas that I know of on how to secure the handle down. So, yeah. That works for me. I'm happy with that. But I'm never going to use this. But I'm glad they put some quality into it. That's nice. It's even riveted. Or whatever you call it. There's one right there. Hmm. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm going to uh, uh, mean coil the hell out of this. That's going to storage. I'm not going to actually use that. But oh, yeah, I should probably show you what it looks like. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. It's a firm fit. I got it in right? Yeah. So as far down? No. I can go down farther. think. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But something like that? I don't know. I don't want to like accidentally break it or something. So I'll just leave that there. So all right, this is a new one I got. This how I open this. Oh I know. I know how. Yeah. Yeah there we go. <laughs> okay, so I got this. This was twenty bucks. And it's Kydex. And the comp actual company makes these to go with these knives. They they can fit uh, this one and another model type. I think I can't remember which one, but they won't fit certain ones. There's other variances on the. On the K bar knife, other model numbers. <clears throat> now, from what I learned, this only goes in a certain way. Yeah, okay. So, it goes in that way. So, now let's see what this looks like. Pretty nice, huh? Let me take a photo of that. Where's the photo button? Right there? Okay. Yeah, that'll be my thumbnail, I think. Okay, so this was 20 bucks, and this will be the one I'll use for taking it camping with me. It's a really special way of. And it's secured. Not sure how I could do it. Oh. Oh, okay. So you gotta lift that tongue back. So it'd be like, yeah. See that? You gotta push that back. So, yeah. Okay. So, I got myself a key bar. I got me and my dad a key bar. Since we both wanted one, and uh. Yeah, okay. So. Ooh, booklet. Little booklet. K bar. Kill a bar. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's like that's one of those. <laughs> Ain't that neat? Nope. Huh. Okay. Cool. So, uh, well, blade's not all oily or anything, which I guess is okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm used to seeing things coated in oil when I unbox them. So, yeah. Just cut that. No, I want to. I want to preserve things. 
I guess I can cut the box. Dude! Holy fuck! I didn't even have to press on it. It just fell through. <laughs> That's dangerous. I need a permit for that. <laughs> so, wow, that's good. I don't have to do anything to the edge. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, yeah. Got myself a camping classic here. Hell yeah. Now I gotta go show my dad, because he's gonna want to see it. So, Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe.